Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is the next exercise video that I promised you as part of the huruful, <coughs> pardon me, huruful munawwina, which is uh, section two, I believe. And let me see what lesson number it was because I can't seem to remember off the top of my head. Uh, I can't even remember my own. Uh, uh, hang on. Yes, it was. Uh, Section 2, Lesson 2. That's what I thought. Just wanted to confirm that. Section 2, Lesson 2, in which we talked about Tanween and the three different types of Tanween and how they, uh, how they are, uh, you know, pronounced, etc. One of the exercises that I assigned to you as part of that uh, was uh, I wanted you to open the Mus'haf and I wanted you to find the diacritical marks in the Mus'haf itself. So just in case you're wondering, I'm actually, I actually have a PDF copy of the Mus'haf on my screen right now. I'm recording my screen. And if you're interested, I will put the link below in the description uh, of the PDF copy of this Mus'haf. And this is in large print. <coughs> and this is uh, my favorite, uh, you know, uh, color scheme and my favorite pr way of uh, printing the Quran. It's very beautiful. Um, so... Part of this exercise, the exercise that I assigned to you was I wanted you to open the Mus'haf and open up a random page and start finding, uh, you know, uh, Tanween in it. Uh, the three, the Tanween that we talked about were Fathatan, Kasratan, and uh, Bommatan. So I've opened a page almost at random. This is page 599 in my Mus'haf. It uh, might be different in your Mus'haf. But I've opened this page and I am going to start with... Uh, Surah uh, let's see, I think I will start with Surah Adiyat, which is uh, Surah number 100. And this is page 599 on my Mus'haf, it might be different on your Mus'haf. But this is Surah number 100 and uh, page number 599 on my Mus'haf. But just in case uh, yours might be different, don't worry. You can open to any random page in the Quran and you will start to see the Fathatan, the Bammatan, the Kasratan that we talked about. So let's uh, get started. The Surah Adiyat, Surah 100. This is a wa fatha. Do you see that? This is a wa and a fatha. Right there. This is a ain fatha. This is a diacritical mark that we have not learned yet. This is a dal kasra. Ya fatha. This is another same diacritical mark that we haven't learned yet. This is a ta kasra. This is a wad fatha. This is a ba. And this is a diacritical mark we haven't learned yet. And this, as you can see, is two fatha, one on top of the other, fathatan. Ha, and this is why it has an alif after it, is because, remember the rule for it, well, that we talked about, whenever fathatan have, uh, whenever a letter has fathatan on it, uh, it must be followed by an alif, except when that letter is a hamza or a tamarbuta. So, this is fathatan, and with a ha, therefore is followed by an alif, but notice the funny way these fathatan are written. One is above the other, but they're kind of running away from each other. This is a fathat, this is another fathat, they are fathatan, but this is one way of writing tanween. Now, this is why I love the Uthmani script, the Uthmani Mus'haf, is because this actually has significance as to how to pronounce this tanween. There are four rules when it comes to Nuna uh, Sakina with Tanween, and we will get into that later. That's a slightly more advanced lesson. And the way that Tanween is written in the Mus'haf, it lets you know, but just by looking at the Tanween, how you're supposed to pronounce it. So they are running away from each other. That's a different rule on how to pronounce this Tanween. But this is a Tanween. We can talk about it later. But I just want you to open the Mus'haf, and I just want you to start recognizing them. This is the Fathatan. Now, from this first verse onward, I am not going to go into details of all the Fatha, Dhamma, and the Kasra, because we already did that in a previous exercise. But in this one, I am going to go into, <coughs> excuse me, the Tanween. Oh, we have another Tanween. This is Ha, Alif, and then a fat, two Fatha, which is Fatha Tan. And the, how is it pronounced? This is pronounced Han. Han. Okay, moving on. Oh, we have another one. This is a ha, and we have fathatan on it. This is another han. Oh, and this is, and there's an alif followed by the fathatan always, as usual, because of the rule. This is ain, alif, and then fathatan, an, an. 
and this is another ain, and then fathatan an. But notice these fathatan and these fathatan, these two are running away from each other. They're slightly separate, one on top of the other, but they're separated. These two are one on top of the other, very identical, very, very close to each other. Why? It's another way of writing tanwin al fath or fathatan, but this rule, the way this fatha, these fathatan are pronounced, is slightly different than these fathatan are pronounced. Again, those are related to tanwin, uh, sur, uh, I'm sorry, uh, nuna sakin and tanwin, the rules related to nun sakin and tanwin. We will go into that in a later lesson. But just notice that tanwin is written slightly differently and it's supposed to be pronounced differently. Okay. Let me see if I can't find additional examples for you. Okay, so I'm moving back one surah. I'm on surah 99, which is surah al zilzal. And on the same page, let's see if we can find some uh, tanween for you. And yawma idhim. Again, this is tanween what? What kind of tanween is this? On the zal, where my mouse is pointing right now. If you can't find it, I'm going to move my mouse a little bit so that you can see. This is the letter zal. And these two below it are what? Yes, they are. Tanwinul Kasr or Kasratan. The reason they're Kasratan is because they're below the letter, not above it. If they were above the letter, they would be Fathatan. So this is Tanwinul Kasr or Kasratan. And they, this would be pronounced Zin. 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 But notice these are running away from each other. They're not written one right below another. They're slightly off from one another. And this we will go into later why they're running away from each other. But this is another form of writing, the kasratan. Moving on. Okay, oh, we have another. This is a zal with kasratan. Same running away type of, same running away type of uh, writing method. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Now that much zoom doesn't, and it kind of makes the writing a little bit blocky, so I'm gonna, uh, Keep it at that level. That's about right. Okay. This is Fathatan. Zal Fathatan. Moving on. Oh, we have Atta, Alif, and then Fathatan. Oh, this was Kasratan. Sorry. I think I messed up in the previous one. This is Ta, Alif, Fathatan. And this is pronounced Tan. 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 But remember, these two Fatha, they're running away from each other. They're written slightly differently. This is a rule. When they are, when Fathatan or Kasratan are lit, written like this, then it, they're pronounced slightly differently. So we will go into that later. But I think I've uh, said that too much. So I'll just, from now on, just point out wherever I find Fathatan, Dhammatan, and Kasratan. And, oh, here we go. This is Atta Marbuta. And these two are what? Below it, right below it. These are Kasratan. And they're written together. They're not running away from each other. They're written together. And this is pronounced slightly differently than the ones when they're running away from each other. We'll go into that when we get into Ahkam Noon Sakin and Tanween. Oh, look at this. Another Tanween. And this is another Tanween al Kasr or Kasratan. But below this Tamar Buta, the Kasratan are running away from each other. Below this Tamar Buta on the right, they're together. But on this one, they're running away from each other slightly. Okay, and this is the Ra, Alif, and then Fathatan. This diacritic right here, this tr trident looking diacritic right here, we haven't learned yet. We will go into that later. But right above this trident looking, uh, this fork looking uh, diacritic, we have two Fatha or Fathatan. All right, let's see if I can't find additional ones on this page. Okay, we have this noon, and this below it, the noon is below it, has what? Kasratan running away from each other. These are Kasratan running away from each other, slightly separated. Another dal, and these are fathatan, running away from each other. Okay. On this page, I wasn't able to find uh, examples of uh, the tanwin of bomb. So I'm going to skip 
to a different page. This is page 600, which is the next page. And on page 600, uh, right before Surah Al-Qari, I'm going to go back to... Uh, uh, I'm going to go back to... Yeah, Surah Adiyat. Uh, Surah Adiyat. Come on, there we go. Okay, we have our first Tanween al of the day. These are Dhammatan or Tanween al -dham. Notice how they are facing, both facing to the left. It looks like a small wa. That's the characteristic of the dhamma. It looks like a very tiny wa or very, very tiny wow. Yes, that's what it looks like. But they're close to each other. They're right next to each other. These are dhammatan or tanwin al -dham. Another tanwin al over here. Al dal tanwin al and it's pronounced dun. Dun. This is pronounced dun. And we have, oh, there we go. Another dal and dhammatan on it. Now notice these dhammatan, one is pointing to the right and the other is pointing to the left. They are meshed into each other. Now, again, this is another method of writing the tanween in which the tanween of bum is pronounced slightly differently when it's written like this versus when it's written like this. And that's an advanced topic. This is, let me see if I can zoom in even more. Uh, I know it gets a little bit blurry, but uh, bear with me for a second. This tanwin al bum over here, this tanwin al bum on a dal is written slightly differently than the tanwin al bum on this dal. The both tanwin is pointing to the left. In this one, there's tanwin, and there is another tanwin, but it's, you know, uh, I'm sorry, this is a bumma and another bumma, but they're slightly meshed together like that. This is another method of writing the tanwin, uh, tanwin al bum, and it's pronounced slightly differently. I just wanted to make that point clear that uh, uh, what in the previous lesson we discussed how to uh, spell Tanwin al Fatih, Tanwin al Qasr, and Tanwin al Bum, uh, how they're written, how they're pronounced, etc. But there are advanced topics when it comes to these, and those we will get into later when it comes to uh, us pronouncing Ahkam, Noon, Sakin, and Tanwin. Uh, let's see if I can find some additional ones here. Okay, here we go. This is a dal with two, another tanween below it. This is tanween al kasr, and this is pronounced zin. Zin, but the, remember, this these two are running away from each other, and the next letter has a bearing on how this is what we pronounce. So, right now, I'm not going to go into detail about that, but just notice that when you find this, that this is how it's sometimes written, this is how it's sometimes written, sometimes together, sometimes running away from each other, and sometimes turned into each other versus turned toward the left. So I hope this lesson was helpful. I want you to open your mushaf. Let's start looking for... Start looking for tanween in your mushaf and see if you can't find how they're written and how sometimes they're running away from each other, how sometimes they're written together, and how Tanwin al Fath is above and Tanwin al Qasr is below letters, and how Tanwin al Bum is sometimes both Bumma to the left, while sometimes they are meshed together and they're turned into each other. So that is it for this exercise video. All I want you to do is I want you to be able to open the Mus'haf, to be able to find these diacritics inside the Mus'haf and see what they look like. Jazakallah khair for watching. I will see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.